Hi there, and um, welcome to another video in our series of cardboard baseboards. So this is a real quantum leap. This is producing uh, an exhibition layout. This is six foot by, well, three foot, three and a quarter feet. Uh, and the idea is that this will be light enough to lift. Um, if I show you, oh, and I wreck the place. I can lift it on my own. Two people will be easy. Uh, and it's made out of corrugated cardboard, a uh, new beam construction, and the video now will show you how we built it. So what are we making this out of? This is double thickness corrugated cardboard that you've seen us use before. We got it for free from our local kitchen uh, supply shop, so people that supply cookers and fridges. They throw this stuff away, go and ask, talk to them nicely, and they will let you have it for free. What we will then do is cut it up into panels, and stick those panels together to make beams. So effectively we're laminating the cardboard together. So what you'll see us do in a moment is cut it up, glue it together, putting some one way and one piece another to give it some other strength. And then at the end of that, we'll show you how we saw it up as beams. We've done it as free, fr as free frame, otherwise it's a little boring. But that needs to be before we start doing it.
Thanks for putting up with that and watching that. If only it had actually taken that long to do. That's um, something like six times faster than it actually took, so it took us a while. You will notice in there that we added lots of weight when it's drying. You need to do that to get the glue to work and to stop the cardboard warping. What you're about to see us do now is to begin to saw these panels up into beams. Three six foot long by five inch beams and a number of shorter beams to go across. Had I built it differently again, I would have put a honeycomb of single thickness cardboard upright in. But as it is, it works quite well. So enjoy the next bit and you'll see what we're doing, I think, without too much explanation. So that's all the beams sawn up. Couple of pointers there. We left the cardboard under the weights to dry for several days before we started sawing it up. Secondly, we did it all in one evening, which damn near killed me. Um, if I did it again, I'd do it in the summer when you can do it outside and take your time. 
Uh, because it was the winter, we couldn't do it outside. Uh, it's worth pointing out if anybody wonders how strong that cardboard is, it's like sawing timber. It really is. You can saw it just like timber, which shows you how strong it is. What you'll see us now is using the beams to make the frame structure and then putting the laminates of skins of cardboard on top of that, two on one side and one on the other to make the finished baseboard.
So, as you can see, that's the finished item being well weighted down. Now, I can't really see how cardboard can warp. In any case, we've got um, like a ply structure with the corrugations going different ways. But to make sure it doesn't warp while it's drying, which it could because the glue is liquid, um, we've weighted it down. Now, we use relatively cheap PVA, about five pounds worth, six pounds worth, and obviously the cardboard was free. It might be worth splashing out on the very expensive PVA, but be warned, you will need 20 or 25 pounds worth of very expensive BVA. This uses a lot of glue. So as you can see from the still at the beginning, it makes a very lightweight, very rigid baseboard. And this will be the baseboard for our new exhibition layout, which effectively has cost us six pound and a bit of work. Now, please excuse the quality of this still, but this is just to show you that it is a model railway baseboard. This is the first part of the track plan of our exhibition layout. Um, I think this is a revolutionary method. I've not seen anybody else do this. Uh, we've tried a smaller baseboard just using the laminates, but this is a new lightweight way. This is using beams, so there's big hollow parts that don't weigh anything. Yes, you, you could ideally put a few uprights in there to strengthen it, but it still wouldn't weigh much and it hasn't cost much. I can't see how this is going to be a problem in the long run. We won't know till we try. But I'd really like you to comment, like, tell us what you think of this. Tell us if you think this is a goer. Um, I think this is new and interesting, and I'd be really interested to know what people say. As always, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to our newsletter. And as always, thank you so much for looking and supporting Budget Model Railways. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.